Hello guys and welcome to another video and in this video we will be learning how to flash a new kernel to a CyanogenMod 12.1 installation. Now if you haven't yet installed CyanogenMod 12.1 on your Zen phone, you can follow this tutorial or there is another tutorial separately, okay, and you can follow that too. But you know it's a huge download, okay, so if you can download just this tutorial's toolkit, you know that would suffice for you, okay, so because this has the system image, okay, which is a compressed version of the system image so you can use this too. So the first thing that you need to do is download this auto installer toolkit. Okay, it's made by Tank0413, someone from the XDA. Okay, I don't remember his username right now, but his XDA profile link will be down in the description below so that you can directly contact him if you need to. So there are two ways. Okay, you can use the auto installer okay, over here, but a lot of people do not want to use the auto installer. So in this video specifically, I'll show you how to install it manually. Because for auto installation, you just need to double click on that cm12.1 installer.bat file and it will just do everything for you. But sometimes it might give you some errors and stuff, so it's better to do it manually. So if you want to do it manually, this is the video you need to follow. So first of all, download this toolkit and extract it. Okay, so you'll get this file and this folder which is, contains the actual files. So if you open it, you can see that it already has the ADB and the fastboot tools. Okay, so you do not need to copy these files anywhere else. Okay, now there are certain amounts of files. The first is the custom kernel, as you can see over there. So that's the kernel we will flash. Okay, you have the DNX file and the IFI, IFWI file. Now, if you have been following my videos, my other videos, you would know that these two are for unlocking your bootloader. Okay, so if your bootloader is already unlocked, you do not need to flash these files. But if it's not, you need to flash these files once again. So the other file is that the fastboot 4013 so we will flash this first of all just so that you know there are some freezing issues and this is supposed to solve that okay so we'll flash the fastboot image and there's a system new image which is the cm12.1 rom now this is the older build from june 10 okay that was the last update so this is not a new build we'll just flash a new kernel to improve performance and other errors so to get started all you need to do is Hold Control Shift and right click, okay, and open up your command window here. Okay, so there you go, we have it. We'll just move that away. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is check whether your device is connected properly. So you need to type out ADB devices, yeah, and hit enter. Okay, so now it shows my device. Okay, so the next thing that I'll head over and do is type in ADB reboot bootloader. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. So what this will do is reboot your phone into your bootloader. There you go. Okay, so now we are in the fast boot folder, okay, or in the fast boot mode rather. Okay, so the next thing that we'll do is we need to flash this new fast boot file, okay. So it's fast boot hyphen zero four zero one three. So we'll just do that. We'll just type in flash. Sorry, I'm gonna type out fast boot flash fast boot. So this, the second fast boot that we just typed out is mainly because uh, we are signaling that the file should be flashed into the fast boot partition. So, I made an error. Fast boot flash. Fast boot. Okay, and then we need to type out this file name. So, it will be fastbwt hyphen zero four one. Sorry, 4013. You see, you can rename these files to anything, you know, just for your convenience while flashing. Okay, and we need to add the file extension, which is the which is an image file. So we are typing img and we hit enter. So this will flash the new fast boot files, as you can see, it's going on. Okay, so it's done. 
So the next thing that we'll do is reboot into our new fast boot mode. Okay, so we, what we need to do is fast boot, reboot. So we need to give a hyphen. Okay, so we do not put a space in the fast boot method. Okay, so we put a reboot space bootloader when we are in the we are using adb commands and when you are using the fast boot commands you type in fast boot reboot hyphen bootloader so a lot of people did this mistake and commented down in the video so that is how you do it you give fast boot reboot hyphen bootloader and not a space and we'll wait for the phone to reboot into the bootloader okay so now that we are in the bootloader we will follow three other steps that you need to do if you still do not have Cyanogen mod installed right now. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is flash these two files. You need to flash dnx underscore fwr underscore ctp and the ifi ifwi underscore ctp. So these two will unlock your bootloader. Okay, so if your bootloader is already unlocked, you do not need to flash these files. However, if it's not, you have to flash these two files in the following way. You can just type out fastboot flash dnx so it signals that we are flashing it to the dnx partition you hit space you write down this whole file name dot bin so these are dot bin files so you type out fastboot flash dnx space the whole file name that you can see over here dot bin and then you hit enter and it will flash this file for the next file all you need to do is just type it out ifwi so this will signal that we are flashing it to the ifwi partition and then you type out this whole file name dot bin it's again dot bin so you type out this whole file name and dot bin and of course you put the ifwi before space the file name dot bin and hit enter to flash these two files so when you flash these two files mainly your bootloader is now unlocked so the next thing you need to do is flash a boot hyphen new dot img file okay so that's not present over here because i did not copy it okay there will be a link down below in the blog post that is linked in the description okay so you need to download that boot hyphen new image which is a small 10 megabytes file so the next thing that you need to do is flash that file okay so the command for that would be fast boot flash boot which will signal that you are flashing it to the boot partition okay so it will boot have space boot hyphen new dot img okay. and then you hit enter so what this will do is flash the boot image into your boot partition so boot hyphen new would be the file name that you will download separately and copy into this folder okay so you need to download the file separately and copy into this folder and paste it okay and then you type out fast boot flash boot space boot hyphen new dot img and that will flash the boot image the next thing that you need to do is flash the system image okay which will take some time of course okay so you need to type out system hyphen sorry uh, we have flash we have fast boot flash system which will signal the fast boot to flash it into the system partition and system hyphen new dot img Again, we did the same thing. So we did our fastboot flash system, system hyphen new, which is the file name, and then dot img, which is the extension of this file. Now, all these steps are for people who still did not install Cyanogen Mod 12.1. So if you have installed Cyanogen Mod 12.1, you can skip all these steps except the one in which we flashed the fastboot hyphen 4013. So you need to do that, and then you can skip all the other steps of unlocking the bootloader and flashing the boot hyphen new and system hyphen new images. So when you're done with all of that, okay, so you have successfully flashed the Cyanogen Mod 12.1. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is flash the custom kernel. Okay, so the next thing that we will do is we'll still keep this code, okay, fast boot. Okay, I already made a mistake over there. It's double O T. So it's F A S T B double O T for everything else. Okay, so fast boot flash boot. So Remember, the custom kernel goes into your boot uh, partition. So it goes into your boot partition. So you need to type out fastboot flash boot and then the file name, which is our custom kernel. Okay. 
dot img. Remember, you need to do this after you flash the system icon new image because that's the standard protocol. You flash your custom ROM first and then you flash the custom kernel. So there you go, we have fast boot flash boot custom hyphen kernel dot img which will flash the custom kernel into your boot partition. After you type that out, just hit enter. Okay, so that will push the custom kernel into Okay, so now that we are done with all of that, we need to follow two other steps. Of course, these two steps are also for people who just install CyanogenMod for the first time. So if you're already on CyanogenMod, you can skip these two steps. So these two steps was to wipe your phone and do a factory reset. Okay, so how this helps is that it helps in a cleaner install and a much more stable install. So you need to clean your user data and your cache. So the commands that you need to type out is fastboot, erase, Okay, sorry. Here is okay. You type in user data and hit enter. So this will clear all your user data from your user data partition. Okay, and the next thing that you need to do is when that's completes is fast boot erase and you type in cache. So this deletes all your cache partition. Okay, so when these all these things are done, you are all good to go. Okay, so all you need to do is reboot. So you just need to type. Of course, if you are installing CyanogenMod for the first time, this might take a long time. So usually around 20 to 30 minutes. So please be patient, okay? And as soon as it boots into your know, CyanogenMod, you know, you're good to go. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if this video helped you guys, please hit the thumbs up button, okay? Join the discussions on the Facebook page, which is linked down below. It helps the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be about improving your battery life on the CyanogenMod 12.1. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And once again, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.